How's it going? A couple of people on YouTube pages and other forums have asked me about these little worm barrels that we make up and have down behind the lime trees down the back. We use them primarily to compost down lawn clippings and other clippings from the garden and such. They're not really designed to be something we throw our table scraps in constantly every day or so. We give them a lot of food in one hit and walk away and leave them and they do a fantastic job at breaking down everything we throw at them pretty much. There's certain climates this sort of barrel I don't think really would do that well in. Places that uh, have snow during winter, definitely not a good outside composting system at all. Unless you're going to bring the worms inside and overwinter them in your basement or garage or somewhere a little bit warmer, I don't think they're going to last through a freezing winter. Hot, arid, dry places, probably not a great idea either unless you can keep the moisture up to them and keep them in a very well shaded area. But I'd say for most warmer temperate regions and subtropics and maybe even the tropics, fine and dandy, go ahead. Now, the actual container I use is half of a 200 litre barrel, uh, or I think they're about 50, 50 gallons, and I've just chopped it in half and drilled a whole lot of holes in the bottom just to let any excess moisture flow through. You don't really want the worms stewing in an anaerobic environment, I don't think they'd like that too much. The Rubbermaid totes I reckon would do just as well. The, the reason I like these guys is that they're a food grade container, they're HDPE2, and they're also UV stabilized so they won't degrade in the sunlight. Another thing I've done on these guys, with all my wicking barrels I do the same thing, I've drilled a few holes, put some good old Telstra rope through it, they call it over here, and just some irrigation line just to give your hand something to grab onto, it's not going to cut into the hand too much, just helps moving these guys around. Now as for setting it up, all I'm pretty much going to do today is add two things, manure and worms, that's it, and walk away and leave it. And I know these guys will thrive, so what I have here is, we have a traditional three tier, it's actually four tier, I've only got three on, three tier worm farm, and I've been, I'm retiring it basically, so I'm just let the worms eat out what's left, and you always get a load that fall through into the sump with a bit of the wet castings, and that's pretty much all what I've got here. There's a lot of smaller worms in there, not many large ones, they're all up in the the full castings but a lot of really tiny little baby ones I don't know if you can see him down there so I've emptied out the bottom of that there wasn't a lot I was counting on more such is so what I've done is I've grabbed a couple of handfuls from our bathtub worm bed so there's not there's nowhere near you know thousands of worms you'd buy in a starter kit but I think there's more than enough worms in there to get this bin fired up so we have our barrel here it's as easy as grabbing the manure and emptying it in And that is pretty much all it. Oh, except for one thing. The worms. Now, all I'm gonna do is just dig a bit of a hole in the center here and pop these guys in. There's none left in there. Oh, there's a few in there. I'll get them out in a minute. And just covering them up. And that is, that's it. That's all I do. The only other thing I would do is cover this over with some shade cloth. I'm pretty much all going to do that now anyway when it goes down the back there. Every time I mow the lawn, I can put a catcher or two of lawn clippings on top of this. They'll eat through that. They actually like to come up and go through the green matter before they eat this manure I found. So I can put lawn clippings on here. When I prune my tomatoes or any plants from the bed that gets pulled out, I run over them with the lawn mower. I dump them in here, it just chops them up a little bit finer. Dump that in here and the worms go absolutely ballistic on it. So it's not like a hot compost where you burn your seeds and all the other bits and pieces. So you do have to be careful about throwing a lot of weed plants in here with seeds. You don't really want to do that. And also too, if you've got infected plants in the patch, say something with root knot nematodes, my nemesis. If you've got something with that in there, definitely don't throw it in here because the nematodes will survive as I understand it in here until they get to a host plant that they can infect. So to move these guys around the yard, they are, at this stage, they are pretty light. I can drag it around. Or the other method I like is the trolley, just underneath. Get the rope, or a bit of battling twine actually. I just like to tie them around. Tie them around here a few times. And away you go. It's a nice easy pickup, and you can take him wherever you want around the yard. So these are the two barrels I've had down behind these lime trees here for the past, I think that one's been here two years and this one about 12 months. 
as you can see I've just got some shake cloth loosely over the top of it, it sort of stops birds and other critters getting in there and digging through to find the worms. This barrel here primarily was just garden clippings and horse manure. This barrel here was lawn clippings and horse manure. I was just seeing how they went, the two of them. I was fairly happy with the way both of them went, so now there's no rhyme or reason. I'll just cut stuff up and throw it in either or. About two or three months ago, I harvested this whole barrel. It all went in under the mulch when we were getting ready for our winter crops. And what I did with this barrel was split it in half, all the castings, half of the castings went into here and that seeded this current crop of worms. So they've been in there now for about a month or so. Actually it might be closer to two, I'm not too sure, but anyway. We'll see how many worms we can find close to the top. I don't think we'll find many close to all. Maybe we will, we will find some close to the top. So these guys have just come up from the bottom. Oh wow, there's a fair few. I don't know if you can see them all squirming away there. We'll go down a bit deeper and see what we can find. Well, I don't have to go too deep at all, really. So as you can see, these worms love this manure. Um, yeah, they're really doing a job on it. That's really impressed me. So, crack open this big lump. There's just a big lump of manure here. We'll crack him open and see what we can find. There's a couple of worms going through it there. More worms in the middle. As you can see, these guys really do love hoving through this manure, so probably should leave them alone. I oh, will have a bit of a dig down here. I'm really curious now. Oh wow, they're just everywhere. Sweet! So, yeah. Um, worms love horse manure. Another bonus of having this barrel here, I think, is that the production of limes we are getting from this tree has just boomed. A couple of years ago we got none. Last year we got two. This year we're just absolutely loaded with limes on here, so I think having the nutrients leach out from the base of these barrels is definitely helping this lime tree produce more fruit. So there you go, there's a real easy little dump and run style worm farm. It's great for composting down a couple of catcher loads of lawn clippings or that plant you pull out, that sort of thing. Value adds to those greens that you toss in there. The worms turn it into beautiful rich castings and you can then add that back into your garden itself. In some cool areas you might be able to get away with pulling this out into the sun, letting the sun heat up the barrel, keeping the worms active and then in summer moving it underneath shade again. But for simplicity I really love it. We've got three of them going now so yeah probably come the end of winter we will have enough castings to dump probably cover about two or three beds hopefully so that'll get them nice and revved up for spring so I'll also post a few links to the other worm clips we've done so check them out if you're into worm harvesting worm farming building your own worm beds that sort of thing other than that I suppose that's pretty much all it if you've got any comments questions suggestions just drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you other than that I hope you have a great one and take it easy catch ya